Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Daily D. Today I want to talk to you about influence and the outside influences that dictate our emotions, our world, our decisions. These are things that that really push us either in a positive or negative direction. So we could either listen to the influences of the outside world that make an impact on our world in a positive way or it could be a negative way. Regardless, when you use outside influence, you're not using we'll call it the right rational thinking. And I say that because for an example, let's use an outside influence as the weather. So if it rained today, some people would use that outside influence as something that dictates their emotions, like their feelings, like, oh, it's gloomy outside, so I'm gloomy, right? It's sad outside, so I'm sad. You see, people use the outside influence of the weather to dictate their emotions. Um, For an example, also, if somebody else around you is in a negative mood, meaning they're upset, they're going through some troubling times, it may impact our mood. You see, we allow others to influence our emotions every single day. Now, I want to talk to you really, I just wanted to share that with you. I want to talk to you really about people. You see, I believe people really influence us. And the people in our world that we allow to influence us have to be heavily, heavily graded to ensure that their influence, if there's somebody is influencing us, that they are the right person to influence us. You see, I believe they could love you, they could care about you, they could want the best from you, but they could be the worst influence on you. I don't know about you, but I've lived through many people influencing me uh, to do things, to be someone, to go somewhere, to have something, to spend something, and they weren't the right person to tell me that. How do I know they weren't the right person? Well, the decision ultimately ended up being a bad one, right? We went through trouble, and because of that, I experienced pain. So let's talk about some of the negative influences people can have on us every single day. So first off, if you want to have influence on your life, you have to grade the person that's influencing it. Now, I know we have significant others. We have parents, brothers, you know, sisters, siblings, if you will. And those people can influence our lives in many ways. And how do they influence them? By giving us advice, by sharing their opinions about us or about what's going on, by giving us some sort of indicator of how they feel about things now we've all been there whoa (laughs) we've all been there right we've all been in an emotional way have lived in that state now here's what i want to share with you about this is that if we don't grade their opinion or their guidance or their influence on us we allow them to influence us and those influences could be negative so let me share something with you just recently i went through an experience with somebody who I deeply care about and wish nothing but success for. But their influences outside of them have really become so apparent that they can't see straight. That they take for granted the things that are in their life currently and they choose to follow the darkness of others. Now, that doesn't mean because I think that I'm a right about, every, you know, my opinions really matter. Either they can grade my opinions too. But, you know, when you want to get influenced by somebody, if, and I say want to because we sometimes seek it. Could be from God, could be from a parent, could be from a significant other. You really have to grade not only their intentions, because obviously they probably have good intentions, but you have to grade where they're coming from. You have to grade, have they experienced the same things that you've experienced before? Are they where they where they should be? Or were they where you were they are they coming from a place of better? And I'm not gonna say than you, because that's kinda it's kinda negative, but you know, I wouldn't go to somebody and ask for advice about money if they didn't have money. I wouldn't go ask somebody for advice about my career if they didn't have a career. I wouldn't ask somebody about advice about going to college or university if they've never been there. Of course, they're going to have an opinion, but their opinion, although it may matter somewhat, shouldn't have the most influence on me. I should be seeking out people who influence my life because of the person they are and that I aspire to be like. You see, my wife, for an example, she's a beautiful woman and I love her to death. 
right? And she has a tremendous influence on my life in general, right? And I hope I have the same on her. But she cannot influence every decision I make, let's say in business. I can run things by her. I can share my thoughts with her. But ultimately, I have to seek out advice from people who have been in my or where I'm going, where we're going. For an example, I can't ask her for marriage advice, right? Not because I, she can't give me some advice. She's going to tell me, David, you just got to listen to me and that's it, right? <laughs> that's going to be her advice. But you can't go through life. She can't go through life just telling me what to do. I have to find others. You know, I found a pastor that can help you know, mentor me through marriage. I found books and audios and things that I can read that give me guidance as to how I can become a better husband, how I can be a better parent, if you will, in the future. You see, I plan these things. And so if you think about how, how you are influenced, you have to be careful who you allow to influence you. Some people just don't have the right to give you opinions. Good morning. Some people just don't have that right to give you opinions. And it's not because they're bad people. And it's not because you know, they have mal, mal harm or mal, they wish you harm. You know, it, it really just comes down to, can you, can you use an honest grade, if you will, on their opinion, if it's going to make a difference in your life and can they influence your life in a positive way because they've been there, because they know better than you? You see, when I, when I look back at all the years that I didn't listen to people, <laughs> that really mattered and I listened to the wrong people. I made so many bad decisions. You know how many apologies I've had to make over the life of my lifetime? Apologies to people that I really care about today and truly love because I blew them off. I disregarded their opinions. I wasn't a good, a good listener. You know, I thought I knew it all. Y'all ever been there? And because I thought I knew it all, because I didn't listen, I had to go back and say I'm sorry. Not, not us. I'm sorry because that I felt like, you know, that I did them wrong. It was more I'm sorry that I should have become a better listener, and I should have not thought those things, and I should be better at what I do, which is be a student. I want to be a student through life, not a leader. I want to be a student. I don't want to be a follower either. I just want to learn every single day. And there's so many people out there that if given the opportunity could be such great people could do so much good in the world but yet they're so influenced by the negativity of the world they've fallen upon dark dark times dark people and those dark people have no interest in their success they have no interest in their growth they have no interest in their becoming they have every interest in keeping them where they should be or where they want them to be because that makes them feel powerful because that makes them feel good about themselves you know, get around people who influence your growth, who inspire your heart and your light. Not people who tell you what's wrong in the world, but who tell you what's right in the world. Get around people who want to go places. And those places can't just be some concert or some cruise. No, get around people who want to take their lives to the next level, who talk about big things, who talk about the future, not the experience, who talk about imagine one day when we'll have xyz when we'll be xyz when we can experience the world together you know that's what inspires me about my wife and about the people around me because we talk about those things we don't just talk about imagine what's going to happen this weekend <laughs> that's just a passing conversation and we definitely don't just sit around and talk about how bad the world is you know i may not be happy with the outcome of an election or the outcome of my circumstances some days but I'll tell you this, I am grateful every single day for the ability to make my own decisions, to, to be a student to people's influence, but yet still make my own decisions. I'm, I'm so blessed to be able to have those abilities, and yet so many other people haven't seen that yet. And because they haven't seen it, what happens is they're destined to a life of apology, a life of misery, a life of regret, a life of darkness. So many people live in darkness today. You could be a beautiful person. It's all by choice. Attitude is your choice. 
and influence, regardless, just to be clear, just regardless of how much you think they love you or how much they care about you, the influence is outside of you. The only way they actually get to be defined as an influence is if you allow them to. Get rid of the negative, put in some positive, right? Subtract that crap. Find people who support your growth. Find people who want the best for you. You Whenever somebody... Here's my last statement, okay? And this is really somewhat personal to me because I want everybody to know, regardless of you know, our relationship, if we've never met or we've met, if you're on our team or not on our team, if you work on another business that I work with, regardless of this, I want you to win. I wouldn't hold you back. I wouldn't do you wrong. I wouldn't disrespect you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put you in a position, in my opinion, to fail. Now, if you choose to fail and if you choose to not, you know, um, work with me, if you choose to be negative, if you choose to not be the right person, that's your decision. If you want to go somewhere and you want to be something and you want to push hard and you want to work with me or in some capacity, I'm here to support you. I wouldn't cheat you out of money. I wouldn't cheat you out of out of opportunity. I wouldn't cheat you out of love or respect. You know why? Because that is what life's about. I will live a life, a just life. I will live a life of community, of contribution, of honesty, of integrity, of giving. I won't live a life of negativity, of sabotage and and ego, you know. I won't do that. So know that about me. Because if you don't, you have no clue who I am. I want to say I wish you nothing but success, wealth, health, most importantly, freedom. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.